New at 5.30 tonight, there's a strong push from two Syracuse University alumni to try to remove a statue that stands outside the Athletic Center campus. Now, the statue of, is of Jim Brown, a football Hall of Famer who played for the university in the 1950s. But Brown's controversial past, accused of sexually and physical assault, is the reason they're fighting for it to be taken down. At Syracuse, Brown played football, lacrosse, basketball, even ran track. Afterwards, he became a Hall of Famer in the NFL with the Cleveland Browns later named Rookie of the Year, MVP, inducted into the Hall of Fame, perhaps the greatest football player of all time. Now, while he was a legend and idolized in sports, there was a darker side to his personal history. He's been charged several times with sexual and physical assault and arrested for violent behavior and threats. Our Justin Page is live from the SU Hill tonight with more on how this controversy is unfolding. Justin? The push, to, the push by two alumni to have the Jim Brown statue taken down isn't new. It started almost a year ago, and uh, they've had an ongoing conversation with the university ever since. That conversation includes uh, meetings with the chancellor and the athletic director. Today, I got an update on their effort. His athletic legacy is preserved in bronze at Syracuse University, but his personal history is not nearly as solid, with a past of domestic violence dating back to 1965. It's the reason two SU alums are pushing to get the statue of Jim Brown taken down. No one denied Jim Brown's history of sexual and domestic violence. Everyone seemed to know about it um, and then not doing anything about it. Sexual violence prevention activist Samantha Scholar doesn't think Brown is the type of idol that fits within the culture at the university. She says the response she's gotten so far has been encouraging. The chancellor had said to me uh, that he will not put up another visual representation of anything unless the proper research was done uh, to make sure that there's no visual representation of someone with a history of sexual or domestic violence. Aside from Brown's criminal past, he's done a lot for the community, working to stop gang violence and promoting racial equality. President of the local NAACP chapter, Linda Brown Robinson, hasn't decided if she feels the statue should be taken down or not, but believes having the conversation is important. Take this as a teaching moment and maybe perhaps it should. And there's some other memorial that can go up for somebody else that's done great things for the university. And we don't, we don't want to take away his record, but he's been doing this since the 60s. Despite the positive impact he's made around the country, both on and off the field, some aren't letting his dark past be ignored. I just know that if I were in one of those women that he abused at some point, I'd want it torn down. In a letter, the chancellor says he's asked his advisory committees to review the process of choosing people who will be honored by the university, and he's asked them to strengthen that process in the future. Reporting live at Syracuse University, I'm Justin Page. Statue remains for now. Thank you, Justin. Now, SU Chancellor Ken Siverud sent a letter to the students saying he appreciates their continued activism related to sexual violence and social justice. He's asked two advisory committees to review the university's process for selecting award recipients and make recommendations to change or strengthen them.